Welcome to Puyallup Public Library's podcast, Shush with Debbie, where we interview and connect with people of the library, city, Puyallup businesses, and the community. I am Debbie. I work here at the library as outreach technician, where I mostly do outreach, but I really do a little bit of everything. I'm super excited to welcome our fabulous guest, Carl Helbish, owner of Puyallup Business Castle Motorsports. Welcome, Carl. Good morning, Deb. So good to see you and have you here. It's always good to see you, Deb. Oh, okay. So we'll start off with a couple of questions that I ask all of our guests. And the first one is, tell our listeners who you are and a little about yourself. Well, my name is Carl Helbish, as Debbie said. I am from Puyallup, Washington, born and raised. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Perfect. Born in the hospital right <laughs> up that hill there. Oh, yeah. Good Sam. Yep. Mm-hmm. So uh, I grew up in the valley, <clears throat> and uh, I own a business now here. It's so cool. About 10 years, yeah. Yeah. It's yep. excellent. Tell me about your connection to the Puyallup, which you did, and the library. Yeah, so the library, I remember the old library. Oh, yeah. I never saw that building. Yeah, the tiny one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I remember going to that library maybe when I was like four or five years old. So Little Carl. Yeah, and then I remember when this (laughs) Taj Mahal was built here. I know. Uh, I think I was in seventh grade maybe. Really? And, yeah, I remember coming here and after junior high. And just, oh, yeah. It was like the place that had computers and stuff. So Exactly. Everybody would come hang out here. Yeah, a lot of people still do that. Mm-hmm. This building is only 20 years old, but it still looks like it's brand new. Crazy. Yeah, it's so cool. Okay, now let's get into the questions that you chose. And you may have already covered this one, but your first one was, where did you grow up? Do you want to add anything about Puyallup, growing up in Puyallup? Yeah, so grew up in the Valley, went to, uh, I was actually one of the first classes, I think, to Shaw Road Elementary. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then uh, moved on to Callis Junior High. Oh, yeah. Yes. Hear about that one all the time. Yep, the old building and all. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh-huh. Uh, and then I am a Puyallup High School graduate as well. Oh, so very cool. Go Vikings. Go Vikings. Yes. Sometimes we hear the games, uh, you know, in the evenings here at the library when we're outside. Nice. Yeah. So uh, my my mom's side is from Puyallup, so oh. that side of my family has been here for a long time. Wow. Uh, the Heli family. Uh-huh. So... Uh, my grandpa used to have a dairy farm across town, I believe, at what? one point in time. So That's so cool. Yeah, kind of crazy. So um, much history. Yeah, a lot of history. Uh, growing up, I would hear some crazy stories. I bet. I'd meet somebody at school, and then I'd go to my grandpa's, and he'd be like, what's their last name? And yeah. And you would tell him, and he'd be like, oh, I know so-and-so. Or Exactly. So it was, it was a lot different than my dad's side. Yeah. Which... My dad moved here from Germany, so... <gasps> oh, from Germany! Yeah, so that side of the family is a completely different type of story. Oh, know, so. for sure. And you've been there several times to Germany. Uh, I've been there once oh, now. Oh, just once? Yeah. I thought it was several times. Okay. No, I'm trying to get there several times. But, yeah, uh, good. When I was there, I was there for almost a <clears throat> month, so... Oh, wonderful. Yeah. That's one of my dreams, too. Uh, recommend it to yeah. anyone and everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. Well, let's go ahead and move on to your second question. This is a biggie. What is the most important lesson you've learned over your career? Uh, this is a fun one. Mm-hmm. You gotta, so this is for any leadership or mm-hmm. business owners out there. you got to keep pushing. Mm-hmm. Um, but the biggest thing I would say, I actually would say, is use failure as, failure mm-hmm. as an opportunity. Mm-hmm. So observe what happened look around, ask questions. Mm -hmm. I mean, ask your staff or members of your group or whoever, Mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that, I would also say the biggest thing is just push to help your team succeed Mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Like it's, you got to work as a unit and Mm -hmm. a group and you all have to succeed with that. So Mm -hmm. big push for that. Yeah. That yeah. sounds really good. What about your customers? Do you, if they have uh, an idea, do you listen to the customers' recommendations yeah, too? Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. I yeah. would, I'm open to 
if you want to hear that mm-hmm. you want feedback from yeah you want feedback from everyone that's how you grow exactly really. if you're going with a super mm-hmm. this is how it's going to be i mean the map has to be mm-hmm. able to move yeah so um that's that's a key thing yeah that, and that's not just applicable to business i feel like it's applicable to I mean, it's almost yeah. applicable to life pretty it is. much. So it's true. You got to ride the roller coaster. Yes, right. And enjoy it as much as you can. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah. How how scary it is to come down <clears throat> off yeah. that roller coaster or go down a, <laughs> a sharp hill, I guess, or whatever they would say. Right. Uh, just hold on and yep. it'll ride out. Yep, that's yep. true. Patience, I think, is another. Mm-hmm. Yeah, patience. I, I agree. Patience, patience, patience. Mm-hmm. Yes. Alrighty, let's go to number three. If you didn't have your current career with Castle Motorsports, what occupation would you tr- like to try? I probably, if I didn't go into the worlds of mechanics and automobiles, yeah, uh, I probably would have just continued pursuing music. I believe. Really. The older I am, and reflecting on it now, I think I would have gone that route. Do you play an instrument? I do. I would you? I play drums or percussion. That's so. right. I, that is coming back to me now. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. But well, you're going to have to come over and have a jam sesh at our house. Oh, there we okay? go. Okay? Yeah. All right. We only have one drum, but we don't have a whole kit. Oh, you okay. probably it's do. Okay. I do. Yeah. Yes. Okay. There you go. We're going to do it. I love that, Carl. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's something I don't think I came to terms with until, yeah. like, maybe six years ago or yeah. something like that. that yeah. If it wasn't. It wasn't this. If it wasn't this, I probably would have gone that direction. And yeah, maybe but. it'll be both. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go to number five. Oh, this kind of ties in. Are you still friends with anyone from elementary school, high school, college? Uh, so yeah, yes, definitely <laughs> in the sense of uh, high school. Mm-hmm. Uh, elementary, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have ran into people from elementary school. Cool. Uh, before and i've yeah. even junior high but uh, yeah for high school my my closest friends are still from either high school or just yeah. out of high school so. yeah yep. so cool yeah all right um anything more you want to add about that one uh i, I can't really say much yeah. i guess other than just enjoy your friendships yes so. yeah that's great okay number six is uh, and Carl asked to have a, an exception made on number six. We're Sorry, not going to do one. We're going to do two, uh, two choices. If you had to eat two meals for the rest of your life, what would it be? This was a hard, the hard yeah, it question. Is. That's why I had to do two. Okay. But um, I'm going to go with Kahlua pork. <gasps> Ooh. Yes. And then... I'm going to go with my German roots and go with uh, some schnitzel. Oh, schnitzel and Kahlua pork, yeah. both meats. Yes. Oh, my gosh. They sound delicious. So Kahlua pork must have Kahlua mixed in with, uh, like, does it marinate in that? Or No, no I don't, I don't think so at all. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, it's a Hawaiian dish. Yeah. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, if I, I'm really hungry now. So. <laughs> I know, breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Sounds great. Good choices there. All right. So number seven. Uh, Wow, that's the last question, too. And this is also a a very important question. Who has been your biggest influence, and what lessons did that person or people teach you? This one was pretty difficult. Yeah. That's the older The older I've grown, I Mm -hmm. guess, the more I reflect. Mm-hmm. And lately I've been, I'd say this past year was my grandparents Aww. or my grandfather specifically. Um, what was his name? So, or is his name? I'm so I have four grand grandfathers. Uh-huh. Um, I have my grandpa, Jean, mm-hmm. who is a heli who's mm-hmm. from here. Uh, I have my grandpa, Johansson, who mm-hmm. was actually a doctor about two blocks away from here what? growing That's up. So, so cool. And then uh, my Opa Fred, who uh-huh. came here from Germany. Uh-huh. And then my Opa Arnie as well. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, he was uh, he was from, I think, Idaho, uh-huh. actually, originally. But uh, him and my Oma met because uh, he was in the military. So Gotcha. But yeah, just reflecting on them. I mean, my dad is obviously a huge influence as well. Uh-huh. But this past year has been my grandparents. Just because, like, the little lessons, I think, that mm-hmm. reflecting on has mm-hmm. been huge. Uh 
pretty big Husky fan. So mm-hmm. uh, my grandpa Johansson was uh, class of 53 at UW. Aw, go dogs. Yo, yeah, go dogs. And so watching, just reflecting, it also was really cool to talk to my grandma this past year during mm-hmm. Husky football, obviously, mm-hmm. and just bringing up a ton of memories. It Aww. was really cool. And then just my grandpa Helly, just mm-hmm. all these like little food. Th- he was huge about food, and I, I love food. And yes. so, like, it's been really cool to just reflect on those things. And then mm-hmm. just the discipline of life mm-hmm. through, through Arnie, uh, mm-hmm. my opa Arnie, and then my opa Fred was definitely work. Mm-hmm. Like, the process of work and mm-hmm. the ethics, the ethics, mm-hmm. and just. <clears throat> how to go about work yeah so wasn't one of your grandpas into cars and motor yeah. stuff yeah. which one or all or um so oprah fred for sure okay gotcha. um, he was really into it with my dad mm-hmm. and so that's that's really how this all began yeah it's just passed a, down. a trickle effect of of yep. that one so a huge like a huge influence from him obviously and um, i think sometimes it's genetic I truly do because of in my family I've seen that too. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. Yeah. I would agree. Yeah. yeah. So, that's super cool. Um did your dad did he uh work in cars and mechanics and stuff too or no? Just so on he, the side? He just I he would just remember. do it as a, as a kid or uh-huh. when I was a kid he would we were always just always fixing tinkering. Yeah, yeah, tinkering stuff, motorcycles, cars, whatever. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, he was a big uh, air cooled Volkswagen guy for a long oh. time, so that's really what created the the German yeah. car thing. Yeah. Um, no, my dad has like completely opposite. He does flooring and countertops. So oh, there you like, go. Completely different. Completely than me. different. But, but know, working with his hands. Working with and his hands. Mechanical too. Huge work ethic. Mm-hmm. Uh, he loves to work. Yeah. So. Aww, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Hey, talk about a little bit about uh, what Castle Motorsports is because it is uh, European cars yeah. that you guys work on, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So we're specific to BMW, Mercedes, Audi. Oh yeah. Volkswagen, Porsche. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do Maserati as well, and wow. they dabble with a uh, Land Rover and Jaguar, depending oh, on where dang. where it falls, I guess. But yeah, yeah. gotcha. So yeah, just try pushing as much european yeah yeah but yep so cool yep we're just right off of uh pioneer right by the brand new uh safeway complex near shaw road right so if you know where that little warehouse complex it's over the Mm -hmm. train tracks that's that we're right in there yep yeah so we've been there about 10 years yeah so so. cool it's a great space yeah yeah kind of hidden but not Mm -hmm. hidden because it's on the and big enough yeah yeah sometimes sometimes right (laughs) (laughs) depends on how many things you got going yeah yeah well great okay well let's get to uh uh, a couple questions that i ask at the very end and since you have a lot of recommendations i'm really excited to hear about this what books uh would you like to recommend and why and then give us the title and the author if you have the author too okay okay uh so the first one i would start out this would go for anybody in a leadership position Mm -hmm. uh it's little it's a pretty simple title Mm -hmm. so it's called leadership and Mm self-deception it's by Mm. the arbinger institute okay uh it really makes you open your eyes on uh, perspectives of how to work with your team gotcha is what i got out of it Mm -hmm. i've read it probably three times now oh fantastic that's a good recommendation i would recommend it at one point i was really wanting my whole team and staff to, mm-hmm. to read it mm-hmm. you know yeah it goes but yeah. uh it's it it really helps open your eyes on that and thinking inside a box outside of a box mm-hmm. perception yep. understanding that there's more than just one piece on a team oh so, so true and each person is unique to themselves exactly so, yeah yep um I'm going to go with away from a business style or okay. management book. It's I just finished this one maybe two weeks ago. Okay. Uh, it's called Lost Boy. Okay. It's by Christina Harry. Uh-huh. I caught it on uh, some pop, like a, it was like a, probably Instagram, like pop yeah. up or something. It was uh-huh. like, tell me, it gave you like a quick summary of the book. Yeah. I had to read it 
And it's on the perspective of Captain Hook. Oh, my gosh. And how Peter Pan is might not be a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's perfect. It's really. Really good. Yeah. It's really good. And it's, it will really throw you for a, yeah. for a loop on like, wow, okay. It's, oh, yeah. It's kind of giving you a different perspective of what you're actually being perceived, I guess. Oh. From, you know, growing exactly. up with Peter Pan. Everybody exactly. loves Peter Pan. But. <laughs> It's like, was Captain Hook actually mm. wrong? We don't know. This is so good. I love stories like that. Yes. So I would strongly recommend that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is one of my favorite movies, too. Okay. But So from the movie, I had to read the book. Yes. And it's The Godfather. Oh, oh, I Mario read Puzo. that a long, long, long time ago. It's a big book. It's a big book. It's, but it's But good. it's so it's good. so good. It's, it's, I mean, it's as good as a movie. So. Exactly. Yeah, yeah was, those are classics. Classic. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So Those characters. Yes. I mean, they're like real to us. Yeah, I mean, they, <laughs> you, you can see uh, mm-hmm. personalities in all those characters mm-hmm. there, so it's, yep. it's really cool. That's a great recommendation. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's a, I, it's a really intimidating book as to how big it is. It but is. I would, but uh, yeah, just go for it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I mean, what's your fourth one? And the final one, I'm going to go back to like a leadership <clears throat> mm-hmm. slash management, okay. probably your however you want to apply it but yeah it's a uh, find your why by simon sinek okay very good and uh the why behind everything you do you do your team does the business does your job sitting in traffic yep going to the grocery store mm-hmm. why 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 yeah so big push for that one okay i I probably had about 20 other books, honestly, yeah. Deb, but... That's awesome. Yeah. I didn't know you were such a reader. Sometimes. Do you use sometimes Libby? When I, what's that? Do you use Libby, like download books? Oh, yeah. I've done yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Good. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so get to okay. the library, everyone. Get to the library, everybody, get and some get some books. good books. Yes. Changes your life. Yes. I love it. Well, I can't thank you enough, Carl. We've wanted to do this for a long time, and we made it happen. I know. I'm proud of us. I'm excited. <laughs> Me too. So, um, what else? I can't think of any other questions. Can you think of any for me? Uh, yeah, I have some. I have oh, two. I think, oh my actually. gosh. Okay. So, first one is yeah. what's new to the library right now? Oh my gosh, what's new to the library? Or is, coming? Okay, coming. Um, well, we have a new teen uh, area that is going to be being built soon, and that is a remodel of upstairs. It's going to be super cool. There's going to be a lot of new features, uh, especially for teens. Um, and we're really proud of that and really excited. Things are moving along there. Um, another thing I would say is this podcast is fairly new. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we're trying to get it out there and get people to listen because it's all about the people out there in Puyallup and uh, and the library. So, yeah, it's great. Awesome. Yeah. So, and then the, <laughs> the next question is, how how uh, how would somebody go about getting a book if you guys don't have it? Here? Oh, that is such a good question. We are uh, grow our collection actually by requests from our patrons, and that's pretty rare. Uh, it's also very cool. So if you have something that we don't want to that you want to read that we don't have, just ask us because if we can, it can fit in our budget. We will order it and we'll have it for you in a couple weeks or less. Usually it's less, but. Uh, Sure, you can call us, you can write us an email, or come to the any desk here at the library and ask. Of course, we'll look and see if we have it for you first. But, yeah, we'll – and uh, a couple of the books that you mentioned, we'll have to see if we can get for our collection, too. Awesome. So, yeah, I know we have The Godfather. I'm not sure about the other three. Lost Boy rings a bell, though, so okay. that one we might have, so – Anyway, yeah, that's a great question. So all you folks out there who might not be able to find something, ask us. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and I just have one more point. Sorry. Yeah. I just thought of this. But, okay. Um, this is for the high school automotive program at <gasps> Pialp High School. So we oh, are. Yeah. I'm on the board for their advisory oh, program. Oh, well, I love this. But if any of the high school yeah. automotive kids, I don't yeah. even think you have to, you won't have to even be in automotive class. You just have to be wanting to pursue an automotive Yes. Career path and yes. go to tech school is our company is working on doing a scholarship for those kids. Oh my gosh. And so hopefully I don't know if we're gonna make the cut for this year, but yeah. for next year next, for sure. Yeah. Uh, keep a lookout and 
Oh, that is uh, so we're, cool. We're going to be releasing a scholarship for those kids to I keep love pursuing. That. So. And so will you have them come and do some training with them? No, and... so it'll just be a scholarship for anybody oh. that wants to continue. So oh, it's to not go even, to school. It, it, yeah, to go to school. Oh, so, Carl. That's so wonderful. Yeah. So yeah, thank I you. I just thought of that, and I was like, I want to get a quick push. If yeah. there is any kids out there that are... Thinking about look, it. Yeah, thinking about it. You're already mm-hmm. uh, kind of a hands-on mm-hmm. mechanic type of kid or yeah. um, just keep an eye out yeah. and uh, we want to kind of help push for the growth of technical training and schools so exactly even if it doesn't benefit us in any sort of way as a business it doesn't matter we want to help help the industry yes and, so it's and help kind of the a, community help the community exactly yeah, where you grew up it's mm-hmm. so perfect yeah it's so, so perfect Carl. sorry to sorry to no, change the vibe at the end of the minute or the no, end of this but i'm uh, so glad you thought of it just thought of it last minute that's so. so cool yeah so any kids out there hook up with carl at castle motorsports yeah or i think they'll <clears throat> it should be going through the school too yeah so, your uh, counselor school yeah counselor, counselor or probably reach out to mr tamasy at okay Pale high school there you so, go yeah perfect Right. Well, this has been wonderful, Carl. I can't thank you enough. It's been so fun. It's been so fun. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to do a part two. That'd be cool. Okay. All right. All right. Well, have a great day, and thank you so much for coming to the library and being such a vibrant part of our community here in Puyallup. Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay. Everybody have a good morning. Okay. There. Yep. <laughs> you too.